Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this pro tip video, we're going to learn how to dress wood that is wider than your machine tools. Dressing wood refers to the process of taking rough cut lumber like this, or half ass job like this, and converting it into a nice beautiful board where all sides are nice, flat and level, and also parallel to each other. There is uh, basically four ways to do it. Number one is take your hand tools and do it for hours on end, but I don't have that time or patience. Number two is find yourself somebody with bigger tools than you and pay them. And I'm definitely not doing that. Number three, build yourself a router sled. A router sled is basically that CNC machine without the CNC part. So it's basically the rails, the router, and you use your hands to move that router back and forth. And number four, use your tools wisely. I'm gonna use my tools and this is how I do it. I take the board and I measure the lowest part of it. I can do it using a ruler or I can do it in place on the tool itself. And once I find that measurement, I set the depth of cut to be slightly above that measurement. So for example, if my lowest part was two and a half millimeters and I'm gonna set my depth of cut to be three millimeters. And then I take a single pass and I repeat a single pass. That's the most important thing. A single pass on the jointer. This is a single and deep pass, so be prepared for some extra noise, extra kickback, extra wood chips. So I'll do it slowly and carefully. The end result of this exercise is the creation of this little rabbit, which is a woodworkerish term to denote that one side is lower than the other and there is a sharp cutoff between the two. Then I take a piece of sacrificial board, and in my case it's a floorboard because it's nice and slippery. I place it on the bed of my planer and then I place the freshly dressed side of my workpiece on top of the sacrificial board and run the workpiece through the planer. That way the top side is getting cleaned and the little rabbit prevents the uneven part from going over the sacrificial piece. Let's see it in action. Once I'm done that, I remove the sacrificial board and plane the other side of the workpiece to remove that rabbit that I created earlier. And that's how I get two flat surfaces that are nice, clean and parallel to each other. Next we clean the short edge and for that we go to the jointer. I know my fence is set at 90 degrees and so I just run a few passes until I see nice clean wood. And for the last edge all I do is go to the table saw or the band saw and remove what I need to remove. And that's your pro tip for the day. Use the comments below and let me know how you handle oversized wood. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video release. And also follow me on all social media channels. All the links are in the description.